We're all going raw fam. Hey, hey everybody! <laughs> Yo, welcome to another raw some recipe. I'm Stasia Alicia, aka Raw Boss, and I'm here with the in-house raw chef, Kadeen. The fruit bee queen. And today we have by popular demand. We're gonna bag me up and then say we're gonna want the pizza crust recipe. So today we will be showing you how to make raw vegan live food, um, the raw vegan pizza crust. Right. Right? But as I felt as if I need to give Kadeen some practice, mm -hmm. right? So over to you, Kadeen. Just call me if you need me, and I think you will need me after you finish. Uh, so you're telling me <laughs> when I'll need you, right? <laughs> All right. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and if you know anybody who would want to learn how to make the cross. Share it with them before it even starts because this is going to be, I would say fire, but we're not dealing with fire. So this is going to be great. Great. Awesome. <laughs> well, I need your nose, Dacia, so you can get the coconut milk from me here. Yeah? See? She's helpful, very helpful. All right, guys. So we're going into the pizza crust. Cool? You might don't be daunted by how many ingredients we have here, but it's just me love, you know, the extraness. Cool? Alright, so the crust is made up of nuts and seeds and seasoning. That is it. Where you can find it in your garden, you find it in the supermarket, you find it at the market. It's very simple. And uh, we're gonna start off with walnuts. Cool? We're gonna start off with like a cup of walnuts. Let's, let's do that little measurement. Let's go in a cup and a half. Yeah. As the spirit leads. As the just <laughs> throw it in there, right? Then we have our seeds, our sunflower seed. And guys, remember, when you're having your seeds or your nuts, they must be soaked for at least eight to 12 hours. So look, it might sound long, but we sleep that long. So you put it into soak before you go to sleep. So overnight. So when by the next day your your nuts and seeds are ready. So nuts and seeds have inhibitors, and if you soak them, we get rid of the enzyme inhibitors, and so you you easily digest the nuts and the seeds. That's why a lot of people sometimes they are irritated or by nuts just eating them like that without soaking it. Okay. So we're going in with our sunflower. So we're going two cups there. And our sesame seeds. Sesame, they were also soaked. We're going in with a cup full of sesame seeds. All right? Now, we have our niceness. Now, let me tell you something. Somebody came, we were cutting up um, the seasoning yesterday, some of these seasoning, and somebody came in and said, Oh, this smell like curry. Mm. You know, curry something. <laughs> something we're gonna eat. But curry something. And I'm like, No, what you're smelling is the seasoning. This is the same thing that you use on that thing for it to taste the same way. I was like, Hey man, you see now? You connect the dots? Yeah. So it's all plants that makes your food taste well. Good? So we're going with tomatoes. And why tomatoes? Tomatoes, they have a lot of the water content. So for moisture, we're going to use tomatoes in our, in our mixture. Instead of water. Instead of water. If it is that you want a little bit more moisture, you can add some coconut water, you can add coconut milk to your, your recipe. So we're going in with some, some tomatoes, about two cups of tomatoes here. Then, this is pumpkin. 
and a pumpkin, raw pumpkin. So we're just gonna cut it up a little bit smaller for you. And this will add some texture to your, apart from the nuts, it will add some texture and more nutrients to your, your recipe. Good? Just a little smaller so that the, this will break it down easier for you. Yes, pumpkin is a fruit, not a vegetable. It is a fruit. You know, notice the seeds in there? It's a fruit. So we're in here with like a cup of pumpkin. And something very interesting now, we're going in with carrots. But you might say, oh, your carrot looks so fine, fine. Oh, it look like trash whatever so this is the pulp after juicing the carrot through a juicer not blending through a juicer this is the pulp so a lot of juice is still in there a lot of nutrient is still in there you don't have to throw away your pulp or waste it any at all you can use it back into other ingredients you can repurpose right and this also you can use it also in smoothies as well so we're going in with some carrots. Can you guess what this is? Beetroot. No one would say beetroot, you know, but it is not beetroot. This is not beetroot. So this is the pulp again from apples oh, or out of eat the apples okay. so this i'm adding because it's going to add a little sweetness to your okay. to um to, your, to the, the crust okay. to the recipe right yeah. so we're going in with some apples so we're not going to put anything else in here i will fill it up so much and then we're going to add our seasonings our other seasonings right eh? so let's um pull. So we'll just scrape down the sides to ensure that uh, everything gets uh, incorporated in the processing. You just want to turn it get everything in it's coming together So the fun part now, whoop. So we're going to add some garlic, like a tablespoon here. And then we're going to add some, we, we, you call it, you guys call it green onions, we call it scallion, yes? Jamaicans call it scallion, some persons say green onion, this, that. So we're adding about half cup here, just half cup. The more seasoning, the better, the better half cup. Onions, now let's go with the whole cup, onion. My favorite is sweet peppers. And if you notice the sweet pepper is either red or yellow, or we have the orange type. We don't use the green ones because it, it is high acid, it's not ripe. So we use ripe fruits, which is the red, it turns red, it turns yellow, it turns orange, right? Once it, is, it has a green color, that means it is not ready to be consumed. Cool? So we're going in with some peppers. And Stasia's favorite, we have the scotch bonnet pepper. <laughs> so we're just going to put a little bit 
just for a little spice, you know, in there. And pepper is always good for us. Just a little half teaspoon, nothing too much. You get me? Then we have thyme. Some people say thyme. 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 Jamaica say thyme, but it's thyme. All right, we're going in with a half teaspoon as well. And for this mixture, we can do one teaspoon. Thyme always tastes good. We have some Italian seasoning, and all it is in Italian seasoning is a bunch of cilantro, basil, orga oregano, stuff like that. A teaspoon. Oh. All right. And we have here some grounded paprika. And our paprika is with some red peppers. Cool? Dried and grounded. Somebody say, oh. <laughs> like a light bulb. <laughs> we have some parsley here. We're going in with this. Now, guys, look. This is just my recipe. You don't have to put so many stuff in there. It's all about you, what you like, how you want to tweak the, the, the recipe. Again, we always say, nobody slave out yourself over this. Cool? You can use what's in your kitchen. And we're going in with some Stacy's least favorite. A little salt. What if you're going to use a little salt? It's black salt, guys. And why black salt? Black salt is lower in sodium. So your body processes this very quickly and it even aids in some um, of your health issues. So a person with high blood pressure and they still want a little taste in this or something like that can use the black salt. Use it in moderation. It is very much much better than the other salts that we are using. Cool? So we're going in right here. And we're going to add a little bit more moisture from this coconut milk here. So we'll just go in with about two or three tablespoons here. Then, processing time. Okay. No, no need for smell this. Uh, I taste it. Uh. Mm. This is good. You know what is it? You know what is it? Yeah. Yeah? Oh. I'll be honest in here, don't, don't tell them I say it tastes good and it tastes good. Very spicy and nice. Yeah. Ooh. It's nice. Okay. Really nice. Mm. All right. What is it? You buy some. You just sit like a piece of. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Really? You don't shop it. Oh. Oh. So we're going to form our crust. We're going to form our crust. Put about two cups of this on our dehydrator sheet. So all the tools that we have here, you can find them in the description below. There's a link, go buy them. We have the dehydrator sheets, we have the dehydrator, everything. You can find it there. So let's go. So what we're going to be here, using here. So this tool comes in very handy. And it's a cake, um, of like a fondant smoother. They use them in cake baking. See? Mm -hmm. So all we're going to do is to smooth this out. So you can use your spatula. You don't have to get so fancy, but you can use your spatula. But to me, I find this very easy. easy. And anything to make life easy for me, I am good. All these, you can smell the herbs and everything coming out on this, right? So then, look, I'm no artist and you can't form a, f a, a perfect circle or, you know, them people and, tip, 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 tip. and no, so. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Wait. Wait. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to use a cake ring to form the perfect circle. Good. Again, you can find it in the <laughs> description below. Right? So let's spread this out some more. This is a 10 inch. A 10 or a 12. One out of the two. Yeah. So right. So get that there. And what we're going to do is to place our ring right there and press. That's it. Simple. And then we take the excess and put it back in here. And then we're back inside the circle again with our smoother. Smooth everything out. Turn. And you want to ensure that your crust is like at least like a quarter inch thick or a half inch thick. Because when it goes into the dehydrator, it's going to get smaller. And we're about ready to take. Don't give me that trouble. All right. I'll ring off. So that's how we get our circle. Let's clean up around here. Look like pizza crust, don't it? <laughs> Talk to you. <laughs> but a healthy one. A healthy one. So it is just like that. Then we're going to place this in our dehydrator. Not any dehydrator, guys. It's Excalibur. We're turning our dehydrator on and we are setting it at 118 degrees and the reason for that if you want to keep it in its raw state in a, in the um to contain all your nutrients you're going to keep it below or at 118 degrees fahrenheit that way it keeps all the nutrient in it's not going to kill any so you get everything that the body needs from your keeping it in its raw state so we have our pizza crust here. We said interesting. The smaller one. Yes, you can eat this just like this. You don't even have to do anything to it. So you can eat it's eat it's nuts, it's seasons, it everything. You can just eat this just like that, right? Eat it with your dips, eat it with your salad. You can just have it just like that. Yo, look at this man. He's still on the art for the pizza crust and then they finally find out how to make the pizza crust. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You must thank me, you know. You must thank me. So you're going to beat that pizza for back? <laughs> and we're going to, we're going to make um, a pizza later. Yes. I just wanted you to know how to make the pizza crust because you have been asking and we have delivered exactly all right so Kadeen, thanks again for coming out in your usual style and showing us your awesome recipes as usual we say don't be a slave to the recipe if she used 20 different ingredients you can use five you don't have to use all of the ingredients mm -hmm. use what you have available where you are from we are from the tropic tropics so we have no different herbs and fruits and exactly that we can use but if whatever you have, use what you have. And if you like certain flavors more, you can use more of those flavors. Again, anything that you see, any equipment or tool that you see that we have used, mm -hmm. you can check our description. And more than likely, there'll be a link there that you can buy it if you need to buy it. Mm -hmm. Also, um, 
if you want to try this i would ask you to comment and let us know if you are going to try it if you have tried it then you can come back and leave a comment to say i have tried it and let us know how it tasted to you and finally if you have come this far <laughs> to the end of the video it means that you like and you support what we're doing and i'm going to ask you to watch another video there are two videos here somewhere <laughs> watch another video thanks again thank you kadeem and also remember if you're in um, jamaica you can always visit the fruit blossom store at shop 28 Hope more pines, more pines plaza. plaza thanks again for watching thank you raw fam Yay!